Kristoff, the head, Kowalski, the cruiserweight champion, Marco, Captain Hook. Oh. The <laughs> uh, and they said that Kowalski actually was the first to turn away. And, and we'll see right now if that makes a difference. Crowd into it early here. There are Polish fans. How is Galazzi going to react? Is he going to stand in the pocket and show him you're not going to hurt me? Or is he going to angle and move? Right now, he's standing right in the pocket. And not only that, both guys are trying to let, uh, line it up. So yep. <laughs> it's all about who lands it first. A good, a good combination right there from Hook. One minute to go in round number one, scheduled for 12. Whoever has the foot on the inside, they have a less have an opportunity of landing that, that straight left or that straight right. Big shot by Glavatsky, drives Hook. Steps outside when he throws his jab because he knows that's going to give him an advantage of landing that straight left. I'm impressed right now with Glavatsky's, with his work rate right now. Championship experience fought for more than twice the number of rounds. Will your opponent be shook and overcome? Oh. Big lights, Glavatsky right is not. The you see if the fighters pick it up here as round number two begins. Look to see if a, if a guy is overwhelmed by the moment. Bravatsky not overwhelmed at all. And here's what you want to do. When you when you hurt a guy like that at the end of a round, you want to come out in the next round and establish that, hey, I know I hurt you, I'm coming at you. Hook comes in with a record of 38-2. Basic 1-2 from Hook. That's about all we're getting right now from Hook. He's the champion. Now, Gravatsky said, leading up to this fight, he said, Hook has overlooked me, he has disrespected me, that's exactly... Look at that foot on the outside. He knows what he wants to do tonight, and Hook's giving it to him right now. Yeah. Yeah. And Gravatsky's ste ste stepping forward the way he is right now. You can't help but wonder, did he really change the complexion of this fight? From right now, coming up strong. And he Hook's looks like the stronger man, although both guys just pushing each other around the ring. Mike Tyson, that's the large tattoo on his left deltoid as Hook landed a right as he backed away in the final seconds. Crowd reacting to what was just a, as the Glavatsky chants begin again, and then the Hook contingent. Third round, but you can't humble, humble wonder why Hook is moving at his score. What I can think of tactically is the fact that Gavatsky only been past 10 rounds one time in his career. Hook may be looking, but he's eating some shots early. Well, maybe so, but when you're Gavatsky and you, you put it all on the line right here, you're going after 12 rounds. A left right combo from Hook, countered with a right, and now into the corner. Hook forced by Gavatsky. To the top. One thing that's important to keep in mind is the easiest thing to see as a judge is who's moving forward, who's in their respective weight classes. Vladimir Klitschko and Floyd Mayweather. A little flurry at the end of round three. Steve, you nailed it. Well, <laughs> well done. We'll check back with you. The crowds, again, these guys have fought exclusively in Europe. First time in America for both of you. Whoever's controlling the outside will land the better shots and will win this fight. Right now, it's Kovac. Midway through around there, but his foot was on the inside. He doesn't have the angle that he needs. Good body shot right there from Kovac. Fans, the young assassin, Melvin Villard, makes his Bellator debut against Brandon Gertz, plus Patricky Pitbull versus Syed as we have some action. In the end right there from Hook once he turned Grabowski. One thing you always have to do as a boxer is take advantage of those opportunities. He's fought a lot of different kinds of opponents. He's got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot. There's a boxing. There's a lot in boxing. Two things in boxing, anticipation and recognition. He anticipated that right hand would be there. He recognized Round number four. Wolbatsky showing out well against the champ. Your hook, you maybe want to try to open that up. You want to try something to get back into this fight. You saw the CompuBox numbers. Both men landing exactly 29% of their punches. Wolbatsky to this point. He creates something. Those are feints. Whether you like it or not, he's not punching, but he's throwing feints. Hook retreated for a moment and then was able to land a right, which stood up Wolbatsky. And now Hunt throws a combination which lands again. That's what you look for in a guy fighting for a title is poise and maturity. Inside, you can see that Grabowski has slowed down a little bit, so that punch is still there. 
I think maybe he spent a lot of statement in the opening two or three rounds. Might need a round to get his energy back. We'll hey. see if he's not as busy right now. What is that? And that's another thing. Kowalski said in the fighter meeting that, oh, and a solid this fight starts to unravel. Then I'll start to let my hand. Kowalski for the first time in his career. Krzysztof Kowalski on his back. The count has reached six. Can he make it? He won't get up. He's up, but he does He'll not let him continue. have his legs under him. He comes back with an over and he comes back with a left to fight through it. Oh! He tagged Hook. Hook trying to close out Kowalski. Still two minutes left. Just when you talk, Sean, about this fight unraveling, it is unraveling yes. for Kowalski. Yes, unraveling for both these young men right now. Back to what he was doing before. And Kowalski now the aggressor again. He seems to have recovered. Hook, is, he's got to land more. Take advantage. These guys are heavy hitters, and they're hitting each other hard. Good body shot right there to mix it up. Knock down to the body. And another. That's what he needs to do. And back upstairs, but away flails Kowalski. Be pleased with this. I love it. At the end of the day, this is what you what you expect. His attention wake him up a little bit. Um, I get cold water for it on me from time to time. <laughs> I think for me, for the most, oh, big overhand left right there. Gorotsky, staggered hook. Now said, what are you doing? You got this guy, now finish him off. Finally, great coach telling Lennox Lewis to knock out Mike Tyson. But both these guys still unloading power punches. 1999, and that was his uh, inspiration for throwing his uh, life and career into the sport and putting the tattoo. What? Yep. One thing, oh, nice combination right there from Hook. One thing I Outside is Marco Hook to land that straight right. He's winning the footwork battle, so he's winning the punching battle. Exactly. And now into the corner, Hook is forced. Glavatsky pressing. Tonight, tonight, the stronger punches in the past. Doesn't want to just stand there and trade. He wants to hit and get out. Power punches, according to CompuBox. Slight hurt? advantage to Hook. Glavatsky backs up and covers up. And Hook feels like he's done damage because oh. he continues to throw. Glavatsky might be staggered here. Look at the, the ring. Outside he's now. lining him up. Yep. Right now, Hook needs to have skill. Show skill. Show that you can hit Grabowski from the outside. Hit him with some shots and set him up for a big one. Don't just throw the big shots. Hook comes in and looks almost on top. That's when you really establish yourself as a true champion. If he breaks the record tonight, he will have earned it. Yes, very much so, going up against this Polish monster. It's Premier Boxing Champions, Friday, September 11th at 9 o'clock, live right here on Spike. Is that fatigue making them a little bit more efficient? Do you think that might be it? It could be. When, when... He will go to round number 10 as the seven title rounds. Championship yep. rounds. Yeah. Well, with that number, Hook better recognize that and take advantage of it. Expect it earlier on in this fight. Well, look at the stat at the bottom of the screen. Hook has been here before. Wabotsky rarely into the 10th round or later. Just two fights for the challenger. Your mind could scramble. Now the referee did tell Steve Farhood that it was from an accidental headbutt in the corner at the end of the round. Okay. So if it is stocked, they'll go to the scorecards. I say this, we're, we're talking about this cut. And came back with a right-left combo oh. and scored. And then a right snaps the head. Of Kowalski. Great Hook counter. Pours he knows it's the end of the fight. He needs to win all these rounds. Hook with the volume continues to score. Those are getting through pretty cleanly. Tremendous job. I'll tell you what, the, first, the fight early on was easier to score. These last few rounds, they've, they've, been, they've all been close and tough to score. Right there, we saw a faint to the body. Then the, uh, again, he's, that's been his heaviest shot, has been the knockout. Changes their strategy. They've been throwing knockout punches since Great round point. number one. Got to go to the body early. Got to go to the body early. It pays dividends at the end of the fight. Not to say that it's too late for that, but I would have liked this to set up the head. Not just take the legs out from under the guy, but... Oh! Down goes Hook! The first time in his career he has been knocked to the canvas. Can he get up? They will fight on with 30 
five seconds left to go. Glavonsky trying to pull off the upset. Oh. He hits him again. Oh. Hook is in major trouble. It's Get over. It over. It's over. Glavonsky with the amazing 11th round knockout to win the Cruiserweight Championship. This is now the new Cruiserweight Champion, Crystal. The head. Glavonsky.